In April 2014, almost 38,000 people fled fighting in and around the South Sudanese city of Bentiu to a local UN camp. More than 20 children were dying each week from diarrhea, malaria and pneumonia. A response by aid agencies in providing health care, clean water and proper sanitation has helped half this number. But as the rainy season advances, the risk of disease increases. One of the challenges that we're expecting is, you know, we are now in the middle of rainy seasons. So this is the time where we see normally a lot of I mean, increment in terms of uh, diseases, especially diarrhea diseases. It goes up at this time. Malnutrition situation is increasing, it's worsening. Like this is the hunger gap. I know, you know, because of this displacement, most of the families were not able to cultivate. So we the hunger gap is expected to uh, be a bit longer. So we'll have this will have also an impact of malnutrition situation. So malnutrition situation is worsening. Uh, diseases are also increasing. Like we'll we'll be seeing more diarrheal diseases. We'll be seeing an increment in uh, pneumonia. So these are the things that will also some uh, at one point increase uh, the under five mortality. Veronica and her family are moving to higher ground. Their house was submerged a few days ago, and as the rain clouds loom once again. She knows they must move quickly. Veronica says life here is not good, so she's moving to another place because of the flood. As she packs a few belongings she brought when she fled from fighting in the village, community volunteers come around to screen her children and educate people about how to stave off malnutrition and keep children healthy. Her youngest daughter, in Yaguana, has diarrhea. She's given oral rehydration salts and told to go to the clinic if her situation doesn't improve. The rain starts again. This means more flooding and more children, like in Yaguana, are likely to contract diarrhea. We were able to provide more than 70 liters per person per day, which is a big improvement uh, since the past uh, two months. And then in terms of uh, the sanitation uh, facilities, now we are able to provide uh, one latin for 70 uh, people, which is still below the standard. And now we are still trying to improve more latins and also we try to build more latin for the affected population. The conditions are incredibly challenging for the people who live here and for those trying to help them. It's a race against time to provide clean water and sanitation facilities for thousands of people crammed into this swamp-like camp where supplies can only be brought in by helicopters.